Good day. Coming up next now on the KTLA 5 News at 11, fixing some of the damage from this winter storm. The request Governor Jerry Brown made today. And a hiker is safe tonight after getting stranded on the side of a cliff. What he was doing when he became stuck when we come back. Delicious freshly brewed coffee comes at a price. It's one dollar. Go to McDonald's and get one dollar any size coffee or two dollar small specialty beverage. And every sixth McCafe beverage is free with our app. Wake up and win the day. And yes, welcome back to the show. Today we have Popeye's Annie and Carl the other guy. Hello. Annie, what's on the menu? Well, Eric, I have taken shrimp to a whole new level with my amazing $5 butterfly shrimp tackle box. Eight Louisiana seasoned shrimp, a side, and a biscuit for just five bucks. Wonderful, Annie. <laughs> and Carl, we got a frozen fish patty on a bun. Oh, darn, it should be illegal. All right, that's just a sandwich. Annie has eight shrimp, a side, and a biscuit for five bucks. <laughs> Now at 11, a bizarre series of events leads to an officer-involved shooting. The other crimes that investigators think this suspect may be connected to. Plus, President Donald Trump has a busy week ahead. Russia, wiretapping, and healthcare all on the line. Thousands of runners lacing up their shoes hitting the pavement today. We've got a complete wrap of today's Skechers performance, L.A. Marathon. Hi, everybody. I'm Rick Ching. And hi, I'm Courtney Friel. We begin this hour with that deadly hit-and-run crash. A cyclist is struck and killed in Anaheim, and the driver leads police on a pursuit. Yeah, the chase actually ended with gunfire in Seal Beach, and that suspect now in custody. Let's go to Steve Koo. She's live in Anaheim, where there was a vigil for that victim tonight. Steve? Well, a few dozen friends and family all gathered here to pay their respects to this beloved father and husband who lost his life on this very spot. A guy who's just in the wrong place at the wrong time and was hit and killed. But perhaps the biggest shocker to this hit and run case, Rick and Court, is the fact that officers believe the hit and run suspect may be responsible for at least two other hit and run cases. Tonight, all of this is being investigated. 